Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Tony Koch. I'm the uh, chair of the Roncesvalles Village BIA. Roncesvalles is renewed. Yay! I, I am delighted to welcome you all to Roncesvalles Village. It has been a rather interesting journey, not without some bumps, but we as a community have uh, shown an incredible ability to stick together, support each other, and work together. And as a result, we're here today. I'd like to welcome uh, Councillor Gord Perks, who's here. Gord, raise your hand. Dr. Reverend Sherry DeNovo, the uh, Member of Provincial Parliament for the area, and the Deputy Speaker. And Peggy Nash, the uh, Provincial, or the, I'm sorry, the Federal <laughs> Member of Parliament for <laughs> Among our other dignitaries here, we've got uh, Courtney Pasternak, who is also here. Jim Lieber of the PPC. Yeah. He's sitting in his air-conditioned car while I'm sweltering in this suit. <laughs> I'll get you, Jim, don't worry. Uh, many of the Toronto City staff are here. Members of Roncesvalles Renewed. If you are a member of Roncesvalles Renewed, could you just put your hand in the air, please? Renewed. Now I'm going to speak into my cane, if you'll uh, allow me. <laughs> it's a great celebration, it's a great time today to uh, celebrate the renewal of Roncesvalles. I also wanted to extend hearty thanks, uh, our gratitude for our neighbors, the people, the residents associations, all of the people who live in our fair village, for supporting the merchants during what has been uh, a period of unprecedented upheaval, put it mildly. We thought about having muddy boots festivals and, uh, you know, dance in the gravel. I don't know. It's, uh, we weren't able to c quite come up with uh, something that was, that was appropriate at this celebration. We now have one of the most beautiful, pedestrian-friendly, welcoming spaces in the city of Toronto. Nearly a hundred new trees planted at ground level. I, I'll bet everybody remembers the tree coffins, as my uh, dear friend John Fulker has, uh, has called them. The tree coffins are gone. We've got almost a hundred new trees that will grow with care and kindness that we will all show them as, as part of this village. I'd like to especially thank John Fulker of the Rockersville Village BIA Chief Committee. He's the Secretary of the BIA and the Webmaster, and he wears so many hats, and he's one of the founders of Roncesvalles Renewed, which is an organization of some of the most talented people I've met, gathered together for the betterment of the community. These people are uh, landscape architects, uh, engineers, incredibly talented human beings who are engaged and were committed right from the beginning to the betterment of our village. And again, I want to say thank you to the people of Roncesvalles for me. Uh, I'd like to also uh, acknowledge Ben McCauley, uh, chair of our Roncesvalles Village BIA Business Continuity Committee. Where are you, Len? Len has worked tirelessly to uh, minimize or mitigate a lot of the disruption and has been instrumental in uh, pulling us through this. So Len, thank you. 
Also, I'd like to thank uh, the many people of the City of Toronto who worked hard for our neighborhood, Roncesvalles Village, Bolton Democratic to, to uh, help the person's staff, the Toronto Police Department, the CIA office, as well as the uh, staff of many other city departments who have collaborated with all of us. Let's please give everybody a great big round of applause. In about 15 minutes, we will officially reopen the street with a ribbon-cutting ceremony and then take a short trip on one of the first streetcars to run on Roncesvalles Avenue in a very long time. Then we'll come back here and uh, enjoy some social time, put it that way. Tony, don't forget to invite people on the streetcar ride. Ah! We all walk on and Jim Lever gives us our first guided tour. Did you hear that? <laughs> Mary, Mary reminds me that you are all welcome to join us on the streetcar. Oh, and, and sorry, well, while we're at it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, I was going to introduce Mary Weems, but I'm going to introduce her now instead. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm going to do? The streetcar ride. The streetcars are going to pull up one southbound, one northbound. A ribbon obtained from one of our local florists will very quickly be stretched across the street. Someone will cut them. Does someone remember to bring scissors? Yes, we've got scissors. Thank you. We're all over. Then uh, everyone get into the middle of the street. You can hold up traffic because we're being supervised by Jim Lever of the TTC. We have we have the TTC's full permission, as we know the TTC runs this town. And then the ribbon gets cut. Tony says a few words. We all pile onto the streetcar. There will be bottles of champagne waiting. And then we ride up to the subway. Jim Lever, who is a treasure trove of TTC lore, and this neighborhood gives us a tour, you will be glad you went on it. And I think it will hold all of us. Thank you very much, Mary. And the tour after that is transit advocate Steve Monroe, a star. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Mary. So we'll enjoy some great food as well and uh, in an absolutely stunning cake from Granovskas, our friends at Granovskas who have always been there for us. Uh, we have an all-day sidewalk sale on Roncesvalles Field today with music and two free street cars running up and down. Oh, okay. With, uh, with the help of Cherry DeNovo, Gord Kirk, Peggy Nash, a great triumvirate, and Tony Kaiser, our banker and rock and roller, we welcome the streetcars back to Toronto. <laughs>